Hi guys, so today we're doing, I've got my foundation, my concealer and powder on because I'm showing you how to do an eye look and your eyebrows today as that takes me the longest normally. So we're using the Revlon, Revolution, sorry, professional um, makeup ultra brow kit and if you've got like dark hair like this or darkish hair you'd get the medium to light and this is what it looks like but obviously I I've been using it a lot so I use this shade and it's darkest so let's go in with that first so I normally go first line on the very bottom here where at the bottom of your eyebrow and then you can connect the second line up here obviously doesn't always go exactly right the first time mine doesn't anyway Now we get to the front, I take a facial wipe and just take off the excess product and then dry it, dry the brush and then if you just push up at the front and along it creates the ombre effect of the eyebrow so it looks like a natural eyebrow is forming and then you can just fill in any excess there and then we take the tiniest concealer because we don't want it looking white and we take it along we take it along the front of the brow to make it a bit thinner there sometimes it can look a bit thick Keep taking it all the way down. We want it to be a sharp brow. Well, you know, might not want, but I prefer the end of my eyebrow to look quite sharp. Like so. And if you take any of the pigment out, just go in the brush again. So the end is looking a bit at the moment so we just sort that out Sometimes it just doesn't go look at that. Why? You just do a flick down here and then obviously everyone might not want it like this, but I prefer it very I don't like it to be like very perfectionist, so I don't like it being not how I exactly want it. So that's how you do the first brow, like that, it creates the ombre effect, and it yeah. So I'll be right back, I'm just going to do my other eyebrow off camera, so see you in a minute. So I'm back, the other eyebrows on now, so I'm going to take Morphe, 
and it's the palette 350M so that's what the palette's called and I'm going to take this orangey shade right there and that's the colour I'm going to start with I always start with like a brownie like a trans uh, transition colour this is this is an orangey slash brown it's always a good base for your eyelid always gives you a good place to start so I'll take that same colour I'm going to put it on the other show these colours don't have names uh, which is kind of annoying so you're just going to have to Bear with. Okay, so then the next shape is going to take is this one right here, and it's another brown, but it's just more. Well, so I say more. It's a lot darker. And then we're just going to put that in the crease of the eye. See, and it darkens it up a bit. We're going to make it look like we have deeper sockets. And it really gives a smoky effect. And then we've got to make sure it's blended. So if you look down, you'll be able to see the different you want to give the impression of a spooky eye so look you can see it's darker so we just got to do the same to the other eye put it in the crease Again, make sure it's blended. That's a bit. Mm -hmm. That one a bit. Oof. Right, so now it's darker. We're gonna go even darker. We're gonna take this shade right here which is the darkest I'm assuming and well it is the darkest in the bit and we put it right at the edge here and it makes it very dark just put us like a little dot and then wipe the excess and then we've got to blend it into the eye so we don't want it looking patchy Make sure to blend out like that. Nice and blended. The hardest thing I find about get, doing eyeshadow is not actually doing it. It's just getting the both the eyes to look the exact same, and that's what you're really aiming for. And then, let's see, look now this one. That's the that's the tricky bit getting the eyeshadow to look the exact same. See this side now looks a bit darker, so I have to add some to this side. No, they look the same. So we're gonna hit that first colour we had, which is that very like brown eyed and we're gonna put it right underneath the eye the lash line blend it out and then take the second colour we had and put it right there to make it look like it's blending into the lower line of your eyes and 
and then we'll do the same on this side. So we're done with eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna take we're gonna take this this. It's um press guitar by Primer, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I wouldn't quote this, but I think this shade is either called Icy Fire or um Sex is on Fire. So we just take it on your finger, rub it in, and we're going to take it right at the front of your, right at the front of the eye. Like so. So we take it to about halfway on your actual eyelid and then if you just take your brush and just blend it in a bit it doesn't look so harsh. Like so. Do the same on the other eye. And then obviously do the same on that eye, so we've just got to blend in. Got to blend it in. And if we take some mascara. Is this a, no, not mascara. Oh, I'm going to Let's take the right one. And peel on that one. If you're someone with smaller eyes, I would use white because it makes your eyes look brighter and bigger. Ooh. It makes them look bigger and therefore it will give you a more awake look. And now we put the car on. And obviously with this you could always wear false eyelashes. I don't like to wear false lashes because my I feel like my eyes lashes are long enough, but plus I just put loads of coats of mascara on. <laughs> I don't know what everyone like I do as well making facial expressions when you do your eye like when you do make um, mascara
And then let's just put the final touches on with some highlight. If I can get it open, by the way, this is Jeffree Star's collaboration with Manio Nue. It's a skin frost and it's called Eclipse, just in case anyone wanted to know. I'm just going to take some on a brush and I'm going to get up the side of our face. Mm. This highlighter is my favourite. It is so like, Jesus Christ, like. Woo! Obviously, if you don't like intense highlighter, I wouldn't recommend getting this. And this is the uh, look th that you would do to go out. So thanks for everything on my last video for all the shares and all the all the views. I'm so like happy that it got that it done so well. Um, so thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll see me again. Bye.